today, but uh, apologies. We're going to get along on these shorter days of uh, the year. So let's just start in the chair with the knees bent. And if you're short, you might need your feet on blocks. And hold the bottom of the chair. Okay. Hold the bottom of the chair. So we're going to be connecting the tip of the tailbone with the brain, the middle of the brain. So if you know where the pituitary gland is, right behind the third eye. So connecting the tip of the tailbone with the brain, the middle of the brain. So just pull up on your chair, push down on your buttock, and lift the back of your neck, imagining the connection between the tailbone and the middle of your brain. You have to engage the belly. So it's as if your mother or a loving mother has gently pressed against your belly. Okay, so we don't want the organs to be falling out forward. So gentle support of the belly, widening of the back of the pelvis, and push the buttocks down, lift the brain up. And you can breathe in between the brain and the tailbone. Excuse me, I'm going to go turn off this nail app. Lengthen the spine, connect the brain to the tailbone, and just lean, now lean back on your chair and lift your arms up. Again, finding the journey between the brain and the tailbone. In yoga, the female energy resides here, the male energy here. It's not necessarily boy, girl, but um, male, female. And so the female comes up to the male, the male returns to the female. Of course, the female initiates the action. So you could inhale from the tailbone to the brain and exhale from the brain to the tailbone. Inhale, tailbone to brain, exhale, brain to tailbone. Okay, I've got a lot of dinging going on today. Okay, so again, let's just move towards the front of the chair. Inhale up from the tailbone to the brain. Exhale from the brain down to the tailbone. Close your eyes. Make your internal journey. The breath relates directly to the present moment. You can't breathe for 10 minutes from now or for yesterday. So bring up, bring her up, walk them down. Bring her up, walk her down. And then let's just do, before we go down on the floor, Stretch that right arm over, stretching the right side of the body and the left side of the body. So side body stretch. I'm going to do it a little differently. Square the shoulders and just lift the right hand, reaching the fingernails towards heaven and the right buttock to planet Earth. Okay, stretching fingernails to heaven, buttock to Earth. More of an internal stretch than this one. And now left up, the left fingernails to the outer realm of the universe, and the left buttock down into the planet Earth. It's more of an internal, it's an internal stretch, an energetic stretch. Okay, now let's go down on the floor. You won't need the chair. If you have a blanket, 
Some people may like a blanket on the mat for the knees. I don't want one. So we're going to just go into tabletop. So again, remember the gentle touch of a mother, gently supporting, pushing up on your belly. So the organs are not falling out. So gentle. Yeah. And now as if your arms are moving in and out of the earth, you can think of a sticky mud or gooey planet that you're lifting up and down and then let your hands sink down into the earth. Sink down into the earth. Sink down into the earth. And your knees are sinking down into the earth. And we're going to start out with the lengthening with the right leg out. Push the heel back and then flip the toe. So push the heel back and flip the toe. Now, this hip, the right hip, is not turning up, but is facing the mat. Okay, so heel back, front of the toe down. Heel back, front of the toe down. Heel back, front of the toe down. Now we're going to take our left hand and put it, stretch it out in front of us. Okay, and then move back and forth. So can you imagine inside your torso, inside your body, a lengthening. So we're not shrimping up, we're not letting the organs drop to the floor, but keeping a nice long body, stretching the arm, stretching the leg, and then find the curling your, pushing your heel back, find the longest stretch you can get. And if and then lift the leg, pulling the toe away. Drop the toe, lift the arm, stretch the arm forward. Now, people may want to lift both the arm and leg and pull the toenails one direction and the fingernails the other. Firm belly. Look down at your mat and bring your arm down, bring your leg down. You can just push back and forth a few times like a baby. You can even crawl forward, crawl back. And now let's start with the left leg back. Heel juts out, toe flips. Heel back, toe flips. Heel back, toe flips. Heel back, toe flips. Taking the right arm forward and still do toe back, flip the toe. And then heel back, hand as far forward as you can go, and then lift the back leg keeping the front of the left hip facing the floor. Drop the toe, lift the left right hand, stretch the hand forward. If you want, you can lift the leg. So stretch the toenails one direction and the fingernails the other direction. Look down at your mat. Get long. And then Push back and extend the right leg again. Hands are sinking into the earth. Now you're going to draw your right heel back so the whole big toe side of your foot is on the mat. And you've lifted your right hip. Okay? You've lifted your right hip. And now you're going to lift. So reach for heaven with your right hand, left hand to the center of the earth, and stretch the whole side body, the whole torso. If you want, you can lift your leg. 
If not, leave it down or try a few times. So stretch this right leg back, whether it's up or down, and your head the other way. Push back on your belly. And we're going to go the other way, so you're going to see my back. So left heel back and forth, and then draw the big toe side of your left foot down. Lift your left hand. And if you want, lift the left leg. Lengthen. So you can drop and bring back. Or you can leave the foot down. Or lift the foot up. Reach for heaven. And press down into earth with your right hand. Now we're going to do downward puppy. So some people may like a block. We're going to start with our hands forward, drop the forehead, either on the block or on the floor. Buttock in the air. Here again, we're going to connect the brain to the tailbone. So we've got our tailbone sticking up to the sky. Usually it's pointed down to the earth, but now where the tailbone is up at the sky and the brain is in the earth, opposite of what, it usually, what usually goes on. So the female is up here, the male is down, and we're breathing back and forth between the brain and the tailbone. When you feel like you've breathed enough, come on up to tabletop. We'll go to down dog. So, hands wide, fingers forward, middle finger forward, curl the toes. Inhale, exhale, and hoist the tailbone up. Okay, you can bend your legs. And then pump the knees. Let the neck hang. Push the tailbone up, drop the head down. And then come on down. And you can go back on your chair or you could sit on the floor, whichever is comfortable. It's nice to sit on a folded blanket and we'll breathe together for maybe five breaths. So sit in any comfortable seated position, either on the chair, I'm pointing to my chair, or on the floor, and pull back on your knees to lengthen the spine. Lift the back of the neck, relax the jaw. So we're dropping the buttocks, lifting the brain, but keeping the chin slightly down, extending the collarbones to the index fingers here, OK? 
Okay, keep the collarbones extended as you pull up. And let's all exhale, then inhale. Exhale. Silk thread, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, nice soft breathing, inhale. softly exhale and you just sit with your breath just watch your breath close your eyes Fold your hands over your heart, drop your head, surrendering your mind to your heart. And now we all go on with our day. Thank you so much for inviting me into your house. And I will see you on Thursday. And we will continue lengthening our body in these short days of 2020. See you Thursday.